This is Ruthie Tucker. We're here at Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery in Chelsea. She is one of the co-owners. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect tonight. Thank you. This is Amsterdam Whitney Gallery's Salute to the Stars exhibition. We boast we have more stars than there are in the heavens. And our leading exhibitions are featuring art of the um, landscape, nature, still life, floral, abstract, surrealism, figurative. We uh, touch all points of the globe. We have international artists and national artists, which makes our gallery truly an international global gallery. And we are thrilled and we thank Crystal Hart again for being here. I have moved away from the realist flowers to phantasmic, magical flowers. Some of the things you see over my shoulder and your shoulder are floral arrangements of flowers that don't exist in life. I've also been using more gold leaf, using gold leaf basically for both background but also to make the objects in the painting. With us is Ann Gores, and Ann came all the way from Seattle. Welcome. Thank you. And tell us about a little bit about the work that you have here today. Well, thank you, Crystal. It's so lovely to be here in Chelsea. I um, brought a selection of paintings that are still lifes and some uh, landscape, plein air actually, uh, that I did on site. And I'd like to share those with you today. Just really enjoying the still lifes these days. So. I find great inspiration in um, just everyday objects and putting them together to make a pleasing still life. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to welcome Roseanne Serbo, a New York State artist who is renowned for her still life, her landscape, and her floral work. Hi. Thank you so much for those kind words. I totally enjoy what I do, and I think it's a gift, and I'm thrilled to be here. This is Stephen Lamb from Montreal. So tell me a little bit about your style. Uh, my style doesn't have a, a very clear definition, like a, a very certain style. And uh, me personally, I like that, uh, because I'm not easy, easily put in some niche. Uh, but I've got inspiration from many French artists like Toulouse-Lautrec, like Daumier. Full name is Monique Carasso Heibel. Oh, is that Niagara Falls? I, I was just at Niagara Falls, and I love Which it. One, the Canadian side or the American side? <laughs> uh, I was on both sides, actually. Okay. So this was on the Canadian side, where they light it up. Now, you were talking about this painting earlier, that if, if you view it from different, different angles, yeah, there's a I change. I really love, and I'm not supposed to tell anyone, but I'm telling all you guys, it was a happy accident. It, the mist actually changes from opaque to translucent. Depending what angle you look at it, the mist will become very opaque, which is my favorite. But then when you go to a different angle in the light, you can see through the mist and actually see the waterfall underneath it. May I introduce to you the art of Georgi Bliadze, who's from the so former Soviet Republic of Georgia and his wife Helen. And Georgi paints beautiful landscape, idyllic landscape set captured the serenity of the world and their beauty and very known for his color. His wife Helen could explain a little bit more about Georgie's work. Thank you, Helen. He um, doesn't have uh, one style and he works in uh, paints in different styles and um, colors are beautiful. Um, he does experiment with different colors, um, different techniques. This is Kimberly Burke. So this is sort of a commentary of our present time where women are starting to realize that they can take control of their life and they can explore the different potentials that they have, but they have no, no guide. And <clears throat> the important thing is to, to, you, can't, you can't really be yourself without having a spiritual and I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery. We're down in Chelsea, New York. All this wonderful art. Please come down and visit. Once again, this is Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery. Hope you've enjoyed the show and thanks for watching.